A battery of electromotive force, 6 volts and negligible internal resistance is connected to a voltmeter and 4 other components as shown. So voltmeter is going to be the one right here connected to X and Y. The positive terminal of the voltmeter, this part, is X. Negative terminal is Y on this side. So it's measuring potential difference. So initially the resistance is 1 kilo ohms. Let's label it out. Okay, so 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So which change will cause the voltmeter to show a positive reading? Hmm, what does that mean? Huh? So positive reading here means the positive side has a higher potential. Potential, huh? not potential difference. So what does that mean? Okay, let's look at the circuit now. Now, if you look in loops, this here is one loop. And the potential difference of 6 volts is shared between the two resistors. So, for example, since it's 1 ohm and, sorry, 1 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm, they have the same potential, they will have the same amount of voltage. So, there will be a drop. Okay, this is a potential drop of 3 volts. And another drop here of 3 volts. Okay, so make sure that 3 plus 3 gives you 6. Okay, so that's what I mean to share potential. What about the other side? Okay, if we look at the other side, let's call this the green loop. Your 6 volts is still shared between two components. So here the LDR will take a drop of 3 volts and 3 volts. Drop. Because they have the same resistance. So the ratio is the same. They'll take the same amount of potential difference. So if you look at the potential, the third one, okay, remember we say higher potential. What does this mean? Huh? We start off with, let's say I choose reference point 0 volts. Okay, if I go through the battery, this is a rise of 6 volts. So my potential will be 6. All the way here, 6, 6 volts, 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 6 volts. Okay. So 6 volt, you drop by 3 volts, means at X, you will be at 3 volts. Drop by 3, down to 0. Okay, same on the other side, 3, down to 0. Then here comes the voltmeter's row. Voltmeter is saying, oh, on one side is 3, on the other side is also 3. So the difference, 0. So it's measuring a difference of 0 volts. No difference, right side, left side, same. Okay, so back to the question. We want a higher potential. Higher. On the positive side. Hmm, so means this side must be higher. And the other side's potential must be lower. How do we achieve that? There's two possible methods. Scenario number one. If you want it to be higher... We need a smaller drop. Okay, either we decrease the potential drop here. Okay, or we increase the potential drop here. Then we can get a higher potential. For example, let's say I change my resistance such that it is now going to have a drop of 1 volt. Okay, and this side have a drop of 5 volts. So, what's the potential in between? It's going to be 5 volts. And the other side is still 3 volts. So this can. You will have a higher potential on the left side. And you get positive reading. Okay, so option 1 is a green color. Let's do option 2. Okay, let's change this back to original first, huh? Let's say this is 3 volt, and this is 3 volt, and here is a 3 potential volt. Okay, option 2. Mm, we change the right side. 
So option two is we try to lower the potential on the right side. Let's give this a blue color, I guess. Right, so if I want to lower potential, means I must have a increase drop up here. Or I need to decrease the drop down here. What's an example? Example could be somehow instead of three, I get a four volts drop. Means down here, there's only two volts. Four plus two, six. Which means six minus four, here will be a two volt and zero. So now if you compare three volts and the other side, two volts, you get a lower potential on the right side. You also get a positive reading. That's what we want in the first place, right? Okay, so with this in mind, two options. Let's go check the answer now and see which one can get us this answer. First one, decrease the temperature on the thermistor. Thermistor is the one where the symbol is like this. Okay, that's going to be this fella right here. So if you decrease the temperature, it's cold resistance. So the resistance here will increase means the potential drop will increase. Okay, so we look at the situation, the mister here, but we want something that decreases, so it's not going to give us what we want. B, increase the resistance of the variable resistor. Where's the variable resistor? Our variable resistor is the one, the symbol is like this. Increase so the one right here we want to increase. Oh, cannot. We want it to decrease. So nope. Not going to work. C. Reduce the intensity of a LDR. So LDR, the darker it is, the higher the resistance. If you reduce the intensity. So if you re increase the resistance, it's going to take more share of the potential difference. So the PD share will increase. Okay, where is LDR? LDR here is the one the symbol got light come in like that. Shining arrows. Okay, so LDR is going to be this one here. Potential share increase. Yes, that's the one we want. Yeah, this one, this one, increase. Yes. Okay, so this one possibly can. I will choose the answer. Let's check D just in case. So, replace the fixed resistor with a 500 ohm resistor. Where's the fixed resistor? Ah, yes, this one was 1 kilo ohm, right? Means you are saying to decrease the resistance, so the potential difference share will also decrease. Right here. Um, but now we want to increase on this side, so nah, cannot think. So best choice for our scenario really here is C. But you need to know how the potential divider works here. So a quick reminder. That ratio is your best friend, okay? So how we know all this ratio just now? Uh? Okay, there's a rule. Uh. So if you have two potential, let's say V1 and V2, it really depends on how much resistance they have, R1, R2. So that's how they share in two series. Uh. So just now we say, oh, if there's a resistor here and a resistor here is R1, R2, they will both have their share of potential difference depending on their ratio of resistance. So that is the potential divider rule. They got to understand, not just the equation, but understand how it works. Okay, so that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next one.